Wilkes-Barre's last known original streetcar is on the move. After being used as part of a house outside Dallas for decades, the trolley was relocated today. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube shows us what's planned for this piece of history. It was not easy for crews to recover this trolley car from inside a home in Franklin Township. First, the house had to come down, and then crews had to lift the car above power lines to get it onto a truck for transport. Well, this is a great thing. We got a looks for our car, and it was in an old house, and people gave it to us, and we're going to make restore it to operation. Members of the nonprofit Anthracite Trolleys Incorporated tell Newswatch 16 they have been working to begin restoration of this trolley car for close to five years. To have the last Wilkesbury car, the highest number on the roster, 2790, that was the end of the, the roll call for the trolleys. And uh, service went out of, they went out as trolley service on October 15, 1950. That night, the car was put in the uh, siding, the power was turned off, that was the end of the trolleys. Now the trolley will stay in this warehouse in Sawyersville as crews begin the restoration process. Comrade Bout says for 95 years old, this trolley car is in pretty good shape. And uh, because of how well it was put together, we really have a, a very intact structural car to work from, a really good specimen that will, will restore very nicely. We have the parts and we'll retrofit them to it and make it run. So if you come to Scranton in a couple of years, you can ride it. That's the plan. In a few years, these history buffs plan to take others on rides in this trolley at the Electric Trolley Museum in Scranton. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Luzerne County.